April, I want to start with this hothead just crossing the terminal now with the prime minister saying he will leave politics. What do you make of that? Yes, I mean, it's quite shocking news. I mean, as you said, happened as we speak. We knew that a debate was taking place in uh, Parliament about the collapse of the coalition government. And Rutte did face a vote of no confidence um, in Parliament. And yeah, so we, we had not expected that he was going to announce he would leave politics coming in live now. But that is, that is the news that we're hearing. What does this do to the overall political environment in the Netherlands? How does this change things? So the coalition government was made up of four parties, uh, Mark Rutte's VVD party, the Christian Democrats, the Christian Union and the D66 party. And despite the collapse of the coalition, um, Rutte's party was still said to have quite uh, broad um, support. The, uh, and we, we know that there's going to be a vote expected in mid-November on, on, on the election. So with Rutte potentially leaving politics, as has just been announced, this means that a new leader could be announced for the VVD party as they go into the elections in mid-November. But it is yet still unclear which um, party would then take victory uh, in the, at the election later on this year. April, can we rewind a little bit and just discuss how we got here? What was the migration dispute that again ended with just moments ago learning that the prime minister, the Dutch prime minister, will leave politics? Yes, so Mark Rutte had given his coalition partners an ultimatum to limit the right for uh, f uh, family reunions from, uh, for refugees from war zones. And that would set the limit at 200 people per month for a period of up to two years. And according to people familiar with the matter, Mark Rutte had put himself in a position that could have only ended in one way, the collapse of his four-party coalition agreement. The coalition partners were said to be nearing an agreement last week, at the start of the week, and then abruptly on Wednesday, Rutte introduced non-negotiable demands and the talks then later failed and ended in, in due to irreconcilable differences and this brings an end to Ritter's fourth coalition uh, government after he came to lead the Netherlands in 2010 he's currently the country's mm. longest serving prime minister